Hello everyone. I'm glad to see you on my channel. How are you doing? Hope everything goes well. This video is for those who like white, small fragrant alyssum flowers. I will tell you how to grow alyssum from seeds at home. Alyssum is a hardy, drought-tolerant, cold-hardy perennial that is usually grown as an annual. Alyssum is a genus of plants in the cabbage family. Includes about 200 species distributed in Europe, Asia, and North Africa. Alyssum blooms profusely until frosts and propagates by seeds. The plant is a good early honey plant. Alyssum is one of the best ground covers. And newer varieties open up more options. Alyssum flowers are often yellow or white but can be pink or purple. Alyssum loves the sun and coolness, like all cabbage plants. Therefore, the plant has many flowers in such conditions. Use sunny areas and permeable soil for planting alyssum. Hybrid species of alyssum should be fed frequently. The plant tolerates drought well, but can reduce flowering and produce seeds. This year I sowed several types of alyssum. Alyssum is sea purple, alyssum is white, and alyssum is wonderland blue and white. Plant height varies from 8 to 40 centimeters or 3 to 16 inches. Alyssum seeds are very small. I sow alyssum at the end of February in order to have flowering plants in the flower bed at the beginning of May. Alyssum seeds germinate in about 4 to 6 days. The temperature for seed germination is plus 22 plus 25 degrees Celsius or 72 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. After the emergence of shoots of alyssum, 
you need to reduce the air temperature in the room by about 5 degrees and open the chutes so that they receive fresh air. As soon as the plant has two true leaves, I make a pick. The soil for transplanting should be loose and light. I usually use one part garden soil, one part sand, one part compost, and 10% perlite. In the first week after germination, the plant needs light around the clock. Also, after picking, you need to feed young plants with phosphate fertilizers to form a powerful root system. Now I will wait about two to three weeks for the plants to grow and will be planting them in seedling pots with a capacity of 0.5 liters or about 16 fluid ounces. Alyssum will do best in flower beds with purple dwarf irises or pink ground cover flowers such as small flocks. Another beautiful composition is red tulips and alyssum, or muscari and allium. I like alyssum planted in tall garden pots. Also in my garden, there is a perennial mountain alyssum. This plant is approximately 12 inches tall and has small yellow flowers. The flowering yellow perennial alyssum in my zone 5B begins in June and lasts about a month. New varieties of alyssum are compact and low-growing which allows them to be grown in small pots or cassettes. If you want to prolong flowering, alyssum needs pruning of flower stalks. After cutting, the plant needs to be fed with complex fertilizer. Growing an alyssum is a simple process, but it does require some effort. May is the optimal time for planting alyssum in open ground. 
If you don't like growing seedlings, you can sow a lysum directly into the soil. The air temperature must be at least 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Seeds are sown on the surface, without sprinkling on top. The main condition for seed germination is light. If there is enough heat and humidity, shoots will appear in a week. Seedlings are thinned out leaving 5 to 7 inches between plants. It takes about two months from sowing seeds in open ground to the formation of flowers, and plants grown in the ground bloom by July. Alyssum does not tolerate prolonged drought, flowering stops, and seeds ripen prematurely. To admire alyssum flowers until frost, correctly determine the landing site, feed, and water the bushes. I hope the video was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And click like below the video to support me. Thank you for watching. See you soon.